Hi everybody, how are you? I pray you're all doing well, you're blessed, and you are looking up for Jesus because, whoa, it's getting so close. Oh my goodness. Um, it's really, really a, a joy to be among the body of Christ. It really is. If you haven't joined us on our journey to heaven, I suggest you make up your mind quickly and call on Jesus because you don't know what you're missing. Hmm. <laughs> You'll definitely be missing hell. You won't be on your way to hell because that's where you are going if you don't call on Jesus to be saved. I'm so sorry to tell you that. And uh, it's that serious. But once you do, you call on Jesus, you'll feel, you know, if we profess with our mouth, Lord Jesus, and we believe in our heart that God rose him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved, saved from hell. And I, I pray that for all of you. That's all you need to do is believe in Jesus, truly believe in him. It's not just up here. It's got to be in your heart. Uh, he, the, the love of Jesus, and he will shine through you, and, he, and, and you'll, be a, you'll be a witness to others for all to see the joy that he gives you as well. There's a joy and a peace that surpasses all understanding when, when, you, when you put your faith and your hope and your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Believe in him, who he is, and what he did for you on the cross. He, it's why he came. He didn't come to the cross, you know, for his own sake, just in vain. He came for you and for me so that we may have life and life more abundantly. So we may have, we may live in eternity with him in heaven. He wants us to be there with him. And we want you to be there with us all, whoever you are that don't know Jesus. God loves you. That's why he sent his one and only begotten son, Jesus, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So don't delay. Call on Jesus before it's too late. And by the way, if you didn't see the live, the live, um, the live uh, prayer meeting last night with God a Minute channel, go see it. Um, yesterday would have been May twenty seventh. If it's not the day after that you see this, go see it, and you'll be blessed. Um, it was powerful prayer time for everybody, and um, I couldn't see the chats at the time, but um, and I looked so tired when I looked at it afterwards. I'm like, ah. If only I would have prepared with more time. But that's okay. It's not about what we look like. It's it's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Everything, everywhere in this whole world, he created it all. And the devil hates Jesus. So he makes Jesus to be this teeny tiny little troublesome, you know, thorn in his side. And he's trying to cause the whole world to go against him. But God. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me, John 14, 6. So you need to call on Jesus so you can be saved before it's too late. Tribulation is ahead. Very, very horrific evil that you've never seen before nor ever will again. Jesus said it'll be so bad. So don't put it off any longer. You don't know that you have your next breath. You don't know you're going to be here tomorrow. And the rapture could happen any moment, and then you're stuck here left behind. So, I mean, seriously, any moment. Based on all that's happening in, in the Middle East over there, it's all about Jesus. And Israel and Jerusalem is a big part of all about Jesus. And um, going against him or for him, that's mostly all against him over there the wars the rumors of wars they're all coming to pass just like Jesus warned us would happen before he returns so um, oh please call in Jesus don't delay time is very very short and again you don't know that you have tomorrow so please surrender today and you will be so filled with joy and peace and love and you will not regret it you will however regret it for all of eternity if you wait and you decide you'll do it later it won't work that way you could take your last breath Jesus could come before you decide that so it's not a good idea because when you die without Jesus if you die without Jesus in your heart knowing him you'll be cast into the lake of fire for all of eternity no turning back you can't you can't you can't go back and redo your life it's on this side of life or death you have to choose and that's why our God gives us a free will for us he won't force you to believe in him but he sure will send many laborers across your path such as me and oh I'm sure quite a few others in these last days 
to tell you, hey, this is serious. We can't force you to decide to call on Jesus, but we sure can coax you a little bit. Hey, nudging you. Hey, 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 call on Jesus. Tap, tap, tap. You know what? And then Ezekiel 33 kicks in. You've been warned. Your blood is not on my hands if you do not surrender to Jesus. And I don't wish that for you to be damned to hell. God doesn't wish that for you. He wishes that none would perish, but that all would repent and call upon his name and be saved. So what are you waiting for? Join. Join us in, in, the, in our journey to heaven. It's beautiful. You'll see. Trust Jesus. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Call on Jesus, please. Romans 10, 13. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I repeated that. Because it's meant to be heard by all. So be a whosoever to call on Jesus right now. Get on your knees and talk to the Lord Jesus. Let him in your heart. He loves you so much. Okay, that's it for today. God bless you all in Jesus' precious holy name.